claim her treasure. The adventurer, Lara Croft, must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb, and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way we fraught with trials. Lara, are you doing all that homework? The adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute, Dad! The high walls of the castle beckon, taunting. Strange beasts cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty. Carnations first appeared where the Virgin Mary's tears fell. Fresh graves. The king does not take kindly to trespassers. Climbs out over a lake of bubbling lava. <sighs> Looks like there's something up there in the crow's nest. I'll have to do better. to fly off a cart at 100 paces. Deadly accurate, for the most part. Amazing. Croft has entered a burial chamber that has not been disturbed in millennia. The excavation will soon reveal the secrets of this site. She discovers a strange set of hieroglyphs. Clues to the forbidden tomb, perhaps? <laughs> now for
for the real treasure in the Forbidden Tomb. Our hero must be quiet to avoid alerting the king. What does Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time. Kingsguard will never expect Croft to climb the castle. The castle tower is taller than she thought. Covers her footing and her goal. Now, onward to the Forbidden Tomb. These parapets are damaged. She'll have to squeeze through. <sighs> She's so close, she can almost touch it. But an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. Ugh. Our fearless adventurer has reached the summit. Spots a way in below. She will have to be careful. Why do I do these stupid things? Shit! Last, she enters the Forbidden Tomb.
By night the great bat stole the queen, at thirty north and ninety east. From her pen she wrote her heart, with light unlock her love's release. I wonder if the white queen is lonely? The coordinates might have something to do with the globe. This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the white queen? The, the note said 90 degrees east and 30 north. The cup of St. John. The apostle had been given a chalice of poisoned wine. But after his blessing, the poison transformed into a snake and he drank the wine unharmed. The head of King David. From a shepherd to a king. Imagine that. Where are the white pieces? A quotation from Chaucer. What is better than wisdom? Woman. What is better than a good woman? Nothing. Mid 14th century barding. Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy those bardings were. Those poor horses. The King and the White Queen. There's something in the shields. I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. The coordinates might have something to do with the glow. The poor Queen. Maria Theresa died a painful death to which the king said, this is the first trouble she has given me. The Sun King, Louis XIV, married Maria Theresa, ending a long-standing war between France and Spain. This is Egyptian, an evil eye box. The contents were meant to help sustain and provide for people in the afterlife. A Byzantine scroll. Justice is the constant and perpetual wish. The coordinates might have something to do with the globe. light unlock her love's release it worked <laughs> croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine she'll have to be careful a yatiri a south american healer Baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. I wonder if it lost its mother too. Need to find the White Queen. I just wanted to thank you for your discretion, as well as the work you have done. The vault has been constructed exactly to my specifications. The final payment will be sent at the end of the week. The delay was due to an accounting error, which has now been rectified. Yours, Richard Croft. No matter where you stand, these masks seem to stare at you. Animal skulls, an omen of death and symbols of great change. 
I need to find the White Queen. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the inscription. This is the kind of armour that the conquistadors wore during the Age of Discovery. I wonder what they found? A statue of an Ariki from the Cook Islands. 25th Dynasty. The interior of the sarcophagus is incredibly intricate. This looks Greek? No, Persian. I wonder what she's guarding. Hmm, a Persian lioness. But someone stole her head. I wonder what she was looking at. The death mask of Agamemnon, found in Mycenae. An African tribal mask, made of gold. Ashanti, perhaps. The great bat swings and fur. the light beam. With light, unlock her love's release. Our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are Mum's things. The path was dark and is guarded by bats, said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, Bats! 
I'm not afraid of bats. I'm not afraid of anything. Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. It's just on the verge. You are always on the verge. Your obsession is destroying this family. Obsession? I'm obsessed. You are missing your daughter's childhood because you're always in some tomb on the other side of the world. Why can't you be happy with what you have? Morning. So, uh, Silver Crown Mountain? I don't have enough space for that. Mm. 
This camera belongs to the X700 line. Sam had one of those. I was so jealous. It's just the thing you'd want for an expedition to find a lost monument or civilization. This is proof that there were people coming here as recently as the 1980s. Even when modernity scoffs at them, some legends still manage to inspire people. All full up. Can't carry any more. There's a road. Let's check it out. What's going on? Shit, Trinity. Get down. Damn. Crap stuff. Follow my lead. What are you doing? Get back. Hide. You're the logistics guy, aren't you? I'm not the one who drove onto a body quick. Oh, hold up. I got him. Hold on, they're friendlies. Keep your Someone eyes open. check back there. I'll do it. Put a 
right there. Make sure nothing can get through. I want this whole area sealed off. Yes, sir. If there's anything here, we're gonna find it. When's the last time this thing was serviced? This is rusty. Don't get distracted, Mendez. What are we looking for here? Anything that moves. Anything that doesn't. They still didn't find that relic. I'd love to be the guy that does. Not me. Why not? Be a hero. I'll be dead, more likely. No thanks. I'll keep sitting here looking for hostiles. Less talking, more looking, gentlemen. Get off your asses. Yes, sir. Laura, we're clear. It's quiet. What's your team doing? I'll check. We're not paying them to sightsee. We'll have to go under. Yeah. We know there's the main temple. What we're looking for is any smaller ruins Wait. we might have missed before. Okay. It's really wedged in there. I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We're gonna have to reinforce the bridge. Be tough. Why didn't you test the bridge like I told you? Oh, I'm pretty sure we did test the bridge first. Fuck off. I'm not cocky for you. Maybe we can pull it out. Okay, maybe. Let me think about that. We can take them. All right. You go left. I'll take these guys. What in God? Hide. Hey, Sammy. I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a... Dave! Dave! Sam... No, you don't! <laughs> Full up. Can't oh, carry anymore. So that means it's healing. I have liked it better when it was injured. Oh, I know. I'm just trying not to think about my back. You know, my grandmother survived a tsunami in the 60s. What happened? She lost friends. Her family lost their business. But after that, she could feel things coming. Volcanic eruptions, storms, other things. Pull up. Can't carry any more. Come on, let's go. Any idea what the twins in that riddle are? Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. I suppose we'll know it when we see it. Yeah. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. I see people down there. Hope they're friendly. I'll let you do the talking. Hi. Do you know if there's a place nearby we can stay for the night? How'd you get so deep into the jungle? 
You lose your tour group or something? <laughs> no. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. Oh. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby. Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. So, what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following the riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya, you know you're in Peru, right? Yes. Yeah, long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, oh, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There's some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Yeah. Be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. <gasps> uh, uh, why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not gonna say no to that. Have fun. Me too. Hmm. So, are you and Lara... Friends. Uh, colleagues. She's brilliant. So, you're not... No. Uh, no. <laughs> Nothing like that.
Okay. Get used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. You're not a local? No, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. Storm came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. Thank you. My pleasure. Two years have been working up to never to ask her out. I finally do. And now? Who is that guy anyway? Hey, you want to know your way around Kuakiaku? Just ask me. Are you the local tour guide? Mm, I know where to go and who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo, but his beer is piss warm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Omar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> keep them both open. space for that. Have you seen my husband or my daughter? I don't think so. Where did you last see them? They spend their nights with the stars, sparkling and waving at me. But in the morning, they travel to the river. Oh. I usually see them shining there, but the storm muddled the waters. I know they're down there. I know they are. Just enormous. It must weigh as much as Rick. Magda, did you show this to Andy? Well, when the Lord gives you fish, you make ceviche, right? Maybe I'm old fashioned, but this small that storm was I'll take your word for it. Bet you've never seen anything like this, huh? This is my last one. Sold the rest to that commander fella. He was a little intense, but hey, he bought all my stock, didn't he? Well, except this one. Runs smooth, never breaks down. It's a real beaut, isn't it? Uh, well... No, I'm serious. My wife here, she hasn't been the same since the accident. But the gentle hum, it helps her relax. I'm glad. <laughs> There used to be a temple on the island over there, but all that's left is a couple crumbled walls. And one stone pillar, it looks like. That's more a statue than a pillar. Real intricate work. A college professor came out to study it a few years ago. Did he tell you what he learned? He said it didn't make any sense. Was pretty angry about it, too. Said we tried to trick him or something. Good 
down there? No, sweetheart. I think Teddy's fine. But he can't swim. What if his fur got too soggy? Then Esmeralda would let him sit up on her shell so he could stay dry. They're together? I believe they are. They're both in heaven. Teddy bears go to heaven? Of course. And turtles, too. All of our loved ones go to heaven, so we'll see them all again. I think I'm going to teach Teddy to swim when I see him again. I'm sorry, do I know you? Sorry, I didn't realize this was a private residence. <laughs> Gosh, we lost a lot, but I didn't realize it was that bad. I really didn't mean to. I know you didn't. But if you'll excuse us, we have a lot of work to do. Looks like this is Abby's family tree. Her family has lived in this village for hundreds of years, and it seems as though she's somehow related to most of the villagers. Estuviste tomando muestras de suelo en el noreste, ¿verdad? Sí. El nivel de mercurio fue un poco menor que la vez pasada. Es una buena noticia. Claro. Tal vez la lluvia está purificando todo. Always nice to see fresh faces in town. Good for the mind to know that our little corner of the world isn't forgotten. Also good for the wallet, if you'd maybe take a look at what we have for sale up at the general store. Se suponía que debías estar atento al clima. Estuve observando todo el tiempo. Maldita sea. The jungle takes what it wants. Hard to get it to give up its secrets. But I found one, I think. You have. The village has many layers. You peel one back and find another. And another. It does seem to have quite the history. Sometimes I wonder if it hasn't been here in one way or another since the beginning of time. You seem different than the others. Which others? All of them. Men looking for oil, gold, taking whatever they can. Continue to restrict the distribution of supplies. When we come through the area, it's better for everyone if your people are more concerned with their next meal or their child's fever rather than with what's happening outside the village. As promised, once our investigation in the area is complete, we will provide monthly rations equal to double what you currently receive from care for 24 months, provided you keep up your end of the bargain. Cordially, Estela Diaz, Director of Community Outreach Programs, Order of Trinity. Mommy, what is that on the island? Mm, there was a beautiful temple there many, many years ago.
Like before you were born? Oh, much older. Before your grandfather was even born. What happened to him? Time. <laughs> This describes something nearby. Take a deep breath and find me right under another's nose. working all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's Shit! A... No. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? All full up. Can't carry any more. Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Everything alright? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These... Pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> what little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Piss off, you're spoiling the reception. Oma? Who are you? Looking for work? Um... Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Si gano yo, tendrás que comprarme tres coches. Y si gano yo, tú me compras un avión. Bien. Cara yo gano.
Don't get many tourists through here. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I mean, I'm a researcher. Oh. Oh. Well, still. Wish you could have seen this place 20 years ago. It was booming. Vibrant. Full of life and so optimistic for the future. <sighs> optimistic. Gullible more like it. What happened? Porvenir happened. Big oil company out of Lima. They came in here, bought up the town, gave everyone jobs. They even planned to build condominiums across the river there. Until the bottom fell out. The oil crash. Now we limp by on the scraps they left behind. Shame you're not a tourist. Tourists bring money. Archaeologists just take. Just arrived, have you? Lucky. You missed a hell of a storm. I, uh, I had a brush with it myself. The wind played hell with the surrounding jungle. Knocked down trees, took out the power. Couple houses collapsed. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Unless you control the weather. <laughs> Hey, new here? You should talk to Abigail. She insists on meeting all the newcomers. You mean Abby? We've met. She's been very helpful. Ah, that's our Abigail. Always ready to fix a generator or stop an argument. She's our de facto mayor, unofficial general store owner, half of the volunteer fire department. And trust me, you don't want to get into a fist fight with her. I wonder how she gets all that on her business card. Ah. Uh... Okay, well, uh, good luck with everything. I don't know how they can gossip so cheerfully when we've lost so much. I'm sorry. Wait, you're not Mariela. No, I'm just, uh, so sorry to bother you. This is the story of local caverns rumored to be haunted. Ghostly noises coming from deep within the bowels of the earth. No one who's entered the caves has ever returned. Mysterious sounds. Something between the booming of thunder and the howling of dogs. And a mysterious light glowing within. Miss Ortiz, thank you for your recent inquiry. A water quality index, WQI, was calculated for river sites surrounding the village of Kuakyaku from the samples you provided, and results have shown that the river sites should be classified as bad water quality. The results of the study have shown large-scale impacts that include siltation, chemical pollution, and heavy metal pollution. Turbidity and total solids exceeded the environmental limits. Water of high turbidity, hazy, murky water, cannot be used as potable water, and the high total solids also imply that it cannot be used as irrigation water as well, as this will damage infrastructure. It is most likely that any subsistence fishing that took place before is no longer possible at the affected river sites, 
thereby impacting negatively on people's livelihoods. Similarly, pH was in the high alkaline range as well as COD. These parameters were indicative of some chemical pollution in the river. The pH, that is alkaline, hard water, is corrosive and can damage plumbing equipment and clothes. High levels of fluoride in the water poses the risk of diseases such as dental and skeletal fluorosis. The presence of pathogenic bacteria such as salmonella also represents an immediate health risk for the local community. Haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. <laughs> Don't let how it looks fool you. This is a good place. Difficult, but good. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Hmm. Luck and hard work. A lot of people pitched in to grow it, so they all came to protect it too. tarde haciendo las compras.
Hello. Let me guess. Omar sent you to shake me down? Well, I'm not giving that bastard anything. What are you talking about? What am I... I'm sorry. I, I saw that knife and gone and figured... Yeah, never mind. You looking for anything in particular or just browsing? What do you have? What do I have? This is Kuwaki Yaku, one of the greatest archaeological sites in South America. Well, it could be. It should be. If it weren't for pillagers? Exactly. Omar and his thugs are after money, not history. I have items of cultural significance for sale. They may be damaged, but they're worth restoring. Let me show you what I have. I'm always ready to do business. Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. I can hear them calling from under the earth. The voices. The old gods. Maybe you just need to rest. No. See for yourself. See where the breath of the gods rises from the womb of the earth. Listen to their pained howls. 